Okay guys, so this is my everyday makeup routine. It normally takes me about 10 minutes or so and I do this um, on the days that I have somewhere to be. Like if I'm going to work or if I'm going to the store or something like that. So I'm starting out by using my IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which I really, really like. My moisturizer that I use on a daily basis doesn't have SPF in it, so um, I really like that this CC Cream has SPF, I think it's 50, so that's really good. I don't have to wear a separate sunscreen. So now I'm using my Kat Von D Concealer which is really heavy duty so I don't need to use very much at all as you guys can see here and I just blend that around my eyes and on any blemishes I have like that one right above my eyebrow Okay, now I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder, which I'm almost out of, so if you guys have any suggestions for a good setting powder, loose or pressed, I really don't have a preference, uh, let me know down below. Okay, now I'm using my Smashbox Contour Palette, and I'm using the contour shade, and I'm just putting that right below my cheekbones, and I'm not really too precise at all. Um, I just want to add a little bit of definition and some color to my face. I'm also going to put that around my hairline and down my neck. Okay, one step that I think is really important, I never used to do, but now that I'm doing it, I notice a huge difference, is cleaning out my eyebrows with a Q-tip. Now I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and you guys just saw right now that my brush broke. That is an e.l.f. eyebrow brush, and I really like it, but after I washed it the first time, that little end kept popping off, so... I feel like every time I use it, I have to um, pop it back on the brush part, which is fine. It was like $3, but maybe I can fix it with super glue or something, or maybe I can just go buy a better one. But this one gets the job done, so it's fine for now. And I'm not too precise when I do my eyebrows. I don't really like that whole like cut defined look I just want to fill in any sort of bald spots that I have which I do have a few and I set my eyebrows with some hairspray and a little spoolie brush now I'm taking my Too Faced palette which is pretty much the only eyeshadow palette that I use on a daily basis I really really like it is the Revlon Color Colorstay eyeliner and I'm just using this kind of as like a backdrop I guess for my liquid liner that way if I'm a little bit messy with a liquid liner it won't really show up as much it kind of gives it like a smudge look so I'm using the shade black brown and I just put on my eyes and then smudge it a little bit and now I'm using my um, Clinique I forget what it's called it's by Clinique it's a liquid eyeliner and this is probably my all-time favorite liquid eyeliner. I've purchased several of these and I have no reason to try anything else really. This one is really good. I always thought I was bad at wing liner, but I just had to find the right one and this is the right one. So if you guys haven't tried it, you really should. It's really good. And I'm not too precise because I feel like my wing is really small and I put on enough mascara to where I don't need to be too precise because it's going to be hard to see through my eyelashes. <laughs> Okay, another thing that has changed 
the way I put on my makeup is that lash primer that you saw. This one is by Lancome, I believe. Um, I've also tried one by L'Oreal and they're both really, really good. I've always had a problem my whole life with my eyelashes falling flat and I find that when I use this stuff, my eyelashes will stay curled until I wash my makeup off and it makes my eyelashes look really, really thick. So that is a really good product. You guys should go try it if you are having the same problem. This lip liner I like. I'm honestly just trying to get rid of it and use it all up. I bought it in Korea a few years ago and it's all right. And I'm using my NYX liquid lipstick. Not sure the shade of either of these lip products, but I will leave them linked down below so you guys can check them out if you're interested. And if I have time, I usually put a few extra coats of mascara on because I just really like a bold lash look. And that is it, you guys. That is my finished makeup look that I do pretty much on a daily basis. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!